Good morning, Forest. I'm Max McCammon. And I'm Maggie Davis. And today's date is Saturday, January 26th, and we're here today with all of your Ocala news. Something I've been realizing lately is that here in Ocala, there are tons of cool stories around town. I definitely agree. Our reporters are out in the community today, telling us about some of Ocala's best kept secrets. Ella is finding unexpected treasures at the local rummage sale. Let's check out what she discovered. Thanks guys, this is Ella Brickens out here at Rolling Greens, where they have their annual rummage sale. These folks take their trash and treasure and sell them to give the money to charity. It's a rummage sale that we have every year and uh, the profits from selling the tables, they, re they rent their tables, um, goes to a charity and every year the charity might be different. Um, and I think 99% of the vendors are residents. So this is one way to uh, let them sell off some of their treasures and, uh, <laughs> and help the community. Rolling Greens is not just a place to live, but a family of people that come together for things like this. My husband and I moved into my dad's house uh, 10 years ago. So we've been here for 10 years and uh, we just love it. It's a, it's a great community. It's more, more like family than it is a community. Everybody knows everybody and everybody helps one another out. and We take care of one another. It's a, it's a great place to live. The community not only brings treasures from their homes, but handmade things like art. Um, about anything I can get my hands on. I just enjoy, enjoy painting, enjoy uh, doing work. I love teaching because I like how they feel when they've made, accomplished and done a piece. It's very exciting for them, but it's exciting for me because I've taught it. So I have a good time doing it. This has been Ella Brickens reporting for WCAT. Thanks, Ella. That was a great inside look at one of Ocala's lesser known features. You know what they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I might have to check that out after this. It looks like there are a lot of cool stories there. We'll be right back, cats. LifeSouth is a non-profit community blood bank here in Florida. They provide hundreds of hospitals with a clean and safe blood supply for their patients. You can find them all across the county in their buses, or you can visit their community center on East Silver Springs Boulevard. There's an emergency need for O-negative blood, so if you'd like to donate blood, you must be at least 17 years old, or you can be 16 with parental consent. Come out and donate today to help make a change. Speaking of interesting stories here in our community, the Cracker Village at Silver River will be showing off its rich history to everyone interested. I've always found Ocala's history interesting, so let's take a closer look with Leslie. Thanks, Max. Good morning, STN. This is Leslie Vinson here at the Cracker Homestead, where you can come and discover what life was like during the 19th century on a pioneer settlement. Volunteers here act as 1890s pioneers and teach students about American history and culture. Both my wife and I volunteer here, and we both like the history of Florida in particular and of how life was in the old days, and we think it's a valuable thing to pass on to the younger people coming through. Basically what we try to do is show them how people lived in that time, uh, how they cooked, how they, um, how they got materials, how they used materials, um, how they survived basically in those days. Each person back then had a special job that was an important contribution to the community. Well, for one thing, uh, to make a, uh, a realization that when the early settlers came here in the 1800s, everything you had, you either had to make it or grow it. And the blacksmith would come around to your farm maybe once a month and bring new tools or, or repair things that broke. But basically the blacksmith was pretty important because everything you had made of metal was made by the blacksmith. Once again, this has been Leslie Vinson reporting for STN. Thanks, Leslie. I really enjoy getting to see the history of our own community. Alcala has a deep-rooted past that is often overlooked. You're right, but as important as it is to learn about the past, it is just as important to preserve our community for the future. The Discovery Science Center is already taking steps to educate kids from all over Ocala about the importance of protecting Central Florida's delicate ecosystem. Jackson is there to tell us all about it. Thanks, Mackie. I'm Jackson Murray. I'm here at the Discovery Center, where at the beginning of January, they opened up an exhibit called Eco Invaders, where kids can learn the tale of Florida's environment and how the animals and plants interact in it. 
So Florida's uh, wildlife, the native um, flora and um, fauna, as well as um, what humans have introduced um, and what they're doing to the environment. The invasive evil species that are taking over Florida. While the kids are gaining knowledge from watching the scientists care for the animals here, the Discovery Center offers hands-on activities for the kids to learn about the plants and animals of Florida and how they coexist. It's a lot of fun um, and it's educational. Overall, I thought it was really outstanding. And the reason being is because, you know, it's so interactive, you know, for my grandchildren to, you know, to play on. They picked up a lot. The kids here seem to be enjoying learning about the good and bad of Floridian wildlife. This has been Jackson Miriam at the Discovery Science Center reporting for WCAT. It's nice to see that our community is investing in its youth. It's been great to see all the stories that Ocala has to offer, but now I think it's time for us to check them out ourselves. That's all the news we have for you today. Once again, this has been Maggie Davis and Max McCammon reporting, reporting for WCAT. WCAT.